are going to make it. They're optimistic. The doc told me Duncan would have gone west if those two gay vigilantes hadn't scared the bastards off. Oh, Jesus. I'm going to enrol you in self-defence classes. This wasn't queer bashing. Apparently, Duncan had arranged to meet Scott Dare. Scott? Yeah, and Scott was in a cold sweat, wanted out of pathway, started babbling a whole bunch of stuff. Next thing Duncan remembers is having the shit beaten out of him by the pathway chauffeur. We've got to get a message to Nick. Pathway kills. This is it, Leon. My empire. Power and wealth seem to agree with you, Nick. Oh, yeah, I'm really energized. It took me just two weeks to come up with a script for the recruitment film. Caprice and Dan Dare are crazy about the concept. John Paul Pasolini is panting to direct it. You're turning into a regular Steven Spielberg. I've been skimming Screen International. It makes a nice change from rereading Emmanuel Kant. Oh, Jesus, Leon, I'd love to have you on my team. I need your grasp of politics, philosophy, and show business. Ah, but to betray everything I've always believed in, it's a big step. Don't think of it as a betrayal, Leon. Think of it more as, as an evolution. Even a, a revolution. Hey, you look fat! I feel pretty fat. OK, let's make movies. All right. All right. Mr. Taggy. Mr. Taggy. Ah, it's a big day for you, huh? Every day is a big day, Nyonki. For you, maybe. For me, every day is like eating rat shit soup. <coughs> Ay, yeah. It's technology again. Regular like clockwork. You know what to tell her. Hello? Good morning. Miss Technology? No, sorry. He's still not ready to talk. How am I feeling? Don't be upset. What am I say? Mr. Toggett just needs a little space. Uh, she says it's urgent. It's always urgent. I believe she loves you very much, you know? You reckon? I believe so. Mr. Capri say everybody loves Nick Toggett. Fucking Nick Target. Oh, no more, please. Keep going. 89, oh. 90, hardened oh. flab. <clears throat> Platinum people are not flabby. We have to flog ourselves in the loin like a Roman galley. Flog, flog, flog. We're doing brilliantly, even though Nick snatched Sophie climbing from us. 96, 97, brilliantly. But we can't relax till we make Pathway Central right up there with that ambitious little twerp. Hold tight. We're nearly there. Oh, oh. Could we have a Bunio cocktail, please? Yeah, yeah, come on. So he said being a receptionist was too cushy and he put me up in the nerve centre, recruiting. I mean, the pressure in there is wild. I mean, we start the day with 100 press-ups, right? And I'm not a physical person. It gives me palpitations. And then, right, then there's a daily quota. And if we don't fulfil it, he devises these little punishments. He's turned into Hitler with a brogue. Yeah, we don't half miss Nick. I think I know how we can make contact with him. We're going to send him an electrogram. Now, this depressed social worker gets hooked on junk, so he's brought down as low as a human being can sink. And suddenly, he looks up. And as if in a dream, there's the pathway limo. The door opens, revealing how Caprice. The shining sun, his saviour. Oh, my God, Nick, this film is hot. What a wonderful face. Can Melvin Coombs act? I don't know. Hi, Nick. 
It's Melia. Yeah? I'm sending you this tape to let you know how much we all miss you. Things are bad here at Rose Street. Brian's sucking all the joy out of us. You have to help us, Nick. We're in torment. The whole line's in extreme mental turmoil. You're the only hope we have, Obi-Wan Kenobi. Give us a ring at Kafka Gardens as soon as pos. Tell me you're coming down to Rose Street. Don't abandon us, Nick. This is Mel. Signing off. Baby Mogul, what brings you back to your humble beginnings? I had a communication from somebody down line. This person says you're driving everybody pretty hard. Oh, I am, and they love it. Isn't that right? Yes, yes sir. Sir. We had fun with you, Nick, but fun only takes you so far. Fun doesn't buy happiness. Or a blue suede coat. Hey, everybody, let's give Nick the Rose Street work ethics. Work like a dog or you stay a cog. Sob, 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 flog, 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 up line. You see, Nick, everyone's very keen. You were misinformed. <coughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, Melvin didn't make his daily quota, but he'll make it tomorrow. Won't you, Melvin? Yes, Brian. I want to see you and Grace in the video room. Grace, the curve. You won't believe it in there. It's dark satanic mills time. They're working hard and earning more. Capitalism in action. Melvin is standing in a corner naked. Don't exaggerate. He's wearing jockey shorts. Naked except for jockey shorts. Why? Melvin didn't make his daily quota. If you don't make your daily quota by 5 p.m., there are little punishments. Brian, the father of modern capitalism was Adam Smith, not the Marquis de Sade. No sadism involved. Classic behavioural science. Reward, success, punish failure. Melvin failed today. He won't fail tomorrow. Brian O'Brien's reign of terror. Jimmy Domingo says Raw Street is much more exciting with us leading the line. Well, he's a cop. He enjoys a bit of terror. I think you should ease up a bit. Actually, I don't give a toss what you think. The line is in my hands. You get your cut and that's it. You severed your connection when you moved to Pathway Central. As long as the figures are rising, you have no comeback. Show them the curve, Grace. The curve is up. Way up, even though you seduce one of my best people. Give them their check, Grace. 3,500. <whistles> can't argue with that, kid. Can we? No, you can't. And now I'd like to get back to business. And when I find out who communicated with you, that person will be extremely sorry. And I'll tell you this for nothing, Nick. We're going platinum, Grace and me. And we'll be moving into the real nerve center right next to you. And when we're there, never relax. Not for an instant. Because I'm after your neon. Fair warning. I don't want to leave like this. Melvin is so fragile, he'll crumble if Brian interrogates him. I don't think we should interfere. Alex is right. Brian is running Rose Street. The business is about results, and his results are impressive. Come on, I'll buy you a bottle of bubbly. Yeah, I'll bring the car Turn around. right at Rose Street. Have you got it this time? <laughs> Blasted woman. Oh, I've got a promotion. <laughs> What the hell are you doing here? We're taking you to Merck Street. What's on Merck Street? The bottom line. Come on. Get off. No argument. Shove him in the car. He doesn't want to go to Merck Street, so piss off. Punch him out if you have to. Right. I can't. I love him too much to hurt him. Me too. 
Well, I don't love him. Is that on Jupiter or Saturn? Kilburn. Kilburn. How did you get here so far? Never fuck with a taxi driver. Should have sussed that video was a setup. Melvin was desperate, and we were desperate. You're in danger, all of you, truly. The truth is up there on Super 8. The people who control Pathway are lethal. Please, Nick. For me. For us. Ten minutes. Rudron told Duncan to cut this footage, but by then he decided to defect and he knew the stuff was dynamite. Six months later, Duncan and I went down to Eastbourne. How are you today, Mary? Mary? We're interested in the course you did, Mary. Could you tell us about Raymond Rudron? did that to her, with Caprice and the Dares as accomplices. OK. They studied with this rather creepy guy back in the Dark Ages. That's old news. No, it's bang up to date. Pathway is apotheosis capitalism. You know how Brian O'Brien has been treating Melvin Coombs. The cruelty is sheer Raymond Rudron. What makes you think Raymond Rudron is involved with Pathway? We've never seen any sign of him. Oh, he's involved, all right. And Duncan rumbled the truth. He had a contact in the top line, someone who was so frightened by the Rudron connection, he was planning to defect. Who? Oh. Scott Dare. Where is Duncan here? Good question. Why can't we hear this from the horse's mouth? Rudron is pulling the strings. Something about... The convention, Rudron Park, the absolute. The absolute what? Just the absolute full stop. Scott seemed very frightened. Very fragmented. Is he okay? Have you seen him? Have you? You must remember that Duncan Hay is an unstable homosexual with definite paranoid tendencies. Yes, but someone did actually put him into intensive care. Oh, you can chalk up the assault to unnatural acts, not pathway. We're an energetic and profitable business. We're not some kind of paramilitary operation. And Scott wanting to defect? Complete fantasy. Duncan's overheated imagination. You have no link with Rudra. Not only in the sense that he encouraged me to start the business. Do you still see him? Oh, yes, every morning. His new institute's near Pathway Central. He's sort of my commercial guru. A guru? That doesn't sound very sinister to me. The only people who find Raymond Rudron sinister are Duncan Hay and Felicity Target. There's at least one other person who finds Raymond Rudron extremely sinister. Mm -hmm. Mary Miller. I think we're going to have to put your mind at rest. I'm going to introduce you to Raymond Rudron. Evening, Michael. Sir. 
Some of his graduates. I was a slug before I signed up for the apotheosis. Just been booted out of a merchant bank for backing Florida oranges two months before the big freeze of 78. Well, I was suicidal. I rehearsed the off, experimented with the taste of mother's gold derringer in my mouth. And then I heard about Raymond Rudrin. The man saved my life. Right this way, Mr. Caprice. He's expecting you. Things seem very quiet for an institute. We only moved in last week. The rest of the staff aren't due for another month. I have Mr. Rudran all to myself. You enjoy working for him? <laughs> what I get from Mr. Rudran is a great deal more profound than enjoyment. Good morning. I'm Raymond Rudra. Please come in. Hold all calls. Even Tokyo? Uh, no. Put Tokyo through. Raymond, I'd like you to meet Alex and Camilla Dubois and Nick Target. A pleasure. I've heard glowing reports about all of you from Howard. Glowing reports. So he reports to you, does he? Ah, Ms. Target in the flesh. You two never actually met, did you, during all the kerfuffle over the book? No, we communicated through our lawyers. I assume you've heard how Ms. Target tried to discredit me with, uh, may I say, formidable energy. But not much success, judging by the Institute. Exactly what are individualist studies? The rubric encompasses a variety of activities. Scholars from all over the world will come here to do research and exchange ideas on economics, behavioral science, history, chemistry, biology, anything that will help us towards our main goal surviving into the 21st century and beyond. Where's all the money come from? My graduates. You see, not everyone is as down on me as your sister. I take it your views haven't softened, Ms. Target. No, Mr. Rudron, they haven't. To be blunt, Raymond, she finds you abhorrent. And she seems to think that you run Pathway, not me. Does that sum up your position correctly? Yes, except that I find you abhorrent as well. Fizzy, this is meant to be a civilised discussion. How can I be civilised with your soul at stake? Your soul, eh? Very Jungian. As you know, Duncan Hay had a meeting with Scott Dare. Really? Yes, really. Scott was desperate to defect, terrified by the direction Pathway was taking. Then Duncan was attacked. By my chauffeur, no less. Duncan's in traction. Scott's disappeared. No, he hasn't. He's in the next room. I've been giving him a sort of mental brush-up. Come along. This will interest you. I call this my spiritual gymnasium. I thought you said Scott Dale was here. He's in the Rudra. What's a Rudra? It's an energy magnet. Mind and body are recharged by the interaction of electricity and oxygen. to try the Rudra. It's absolutely marvellous. You categorically deny having had any contact with Duncan Hay over the past two weeks. I didn't say that, Fizzy. May I call you Fizzy? Please, just answer my question. Duncan telephoned me. He begged me to meet him in one of our old haunts, but I refused. Because I know now that the homosexual lifestyle retards psychic growth. Duncan Hay fabricated these meetings, and you believed him. 
because you consider me to be a brutal and violent person. And I consider that the Mary Miller case alone supports my view of you, Mr. Rudron. The Super 8s of the session and the interview at Eastbourne. It's pretty nasty stuff. I saw that when we began injunction proceedings against the book. Ms. Target alleged that I'd turned Mary Miller into some kind of brain-damaged zombie. But I won. The chapter was trimmed, justice was done. What's it? Does she look like a zombie to you? Well, we know we never met her. But you have. Would you come in here a minute, dear? I'd like you all to meet Mary Miller. Mary, dear, these people saw the old footage of you on the swing. They were very moved by it. Ooh. <laughs> Thank you. And they'd been told that I was responsible for your condition. But I had five nervous breakdowns before I signed up for the apotheosis. So what happened was my own bloody fault. But Ray felt responsible. He came down to Eastbourne. He started giving me private therapy. Raymond Rudran is the most beautiful person I've ever met. I lose. Mary Miller was smiling. And Scott Dare was smiling. I just felt such a complete wally. But imagine how Fizzy felt. She believed Duncan. But we all did. Because you wanted to. You wanted to believe that Pathway's some kind of fascist, mind control business cult. And as for Raymond Rudron, A, he's not connected to the business. And B, the guy's an institute, for Christ's sake. He's no more sinister than Henry Kissinger or George Schultz. That's pretty fucking sinister. You know what I mean? You may hate what he stands for, but he's legit. If we overreacted, it's because we love you. I love you. Yeah, I know. Do you love us anymore? Me? Yes, I think so. Then come home. Break out of the cocoon you're trapped in. I'm not trapped, Paddy. I'm free. I like it. I like the money, the position, the authority, the power. I want to live in Concordia Wharf, not Kafka Gardens. Well, that would seem to leave us about two miles apart. It's for now. But once you've finally tasted approval and bread and success, You'll understand the journey I've been on. We can live together again. In the cocoon? Yes, doll. In the cocoon. Morning. Morning. I haven't seen you on the set. Sorry. I've been in the lab 36 hours straight. You may have some good news about kidneys fairly soon. I have this cosmic energy. And a few weeks ago, I was on the brink of collapse. Yeah, the night of my birthday, Galva, I thought you looked pretty wrecked. Visiting the Institute recharged me. You mean the Rudra? The Rudra was just the icing on the psychic cake. No. I spent a few days with Raymond. He's developed a new treatment, and I was sort of the guinea pig. He calls it the absolute. And it is. It's time to come in out of the cold. Okay, well, I'm done. Let's have the eggs. I love so I live. You call this a living? Do you? If we have to stuff it, we'll be doing you a favour. Oh, don't. That's my last quid. I need my eight. <laughs> 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 Mr. 
You've seen a telly. Erin screws you up, and we're here to prove it. The absolute. The absolute what? The absolute. Pretty strong stuff, man. Were my kids psychopathic or were they psychopathic? I love you guys. I'd like to go again. The boys were too effeminate on that take. Do you not agree, Nick? We're not the boys too womanly. Nick. Actually, I think he's unconscious, John Ford. I can't That's stop so thinking cool. about Rudron. Something isn't right. Leon was successful. We're fulfilled. Leave it alone. Listen to him, Nick. Scott Dare said he was the first person to do the absolute, right? Jesus, Leon, give me a break. It's late. I've been beaten up. Like Duncan, hey? I'm going to shut you up for good. Listen to me, Nick. The absolute is a brand new therapy, yes? Yet Duncan knew about it. How? How did he know about it if not from Scott Dare that night on Hampstead Heath? You think it over, son. Fascinating dream. You wanted to kill Trotsky and, by extension, your father. Don't Oedipus me. The point is that my subconscious or my unconscious realised Duncan Hay was telling the truth. Now, Nick. Yes. Oh, Christ, Fizzy was right. You do pull the strings. <laughs> Don't be lurid. I'm the majority shareholder in Pathway. I make all policy decisions jointly with Howard. Like having Duncan Hay smashed up? Correct. I detest violence, but sometimes it's cost effective. We have immense plans for the future, and they mustn't be impeded. You're a very important part of those plans, Nick. No. You've been jerking my string long enough. Jerking your string? We brought you back from psychosomatic illness alcoholism and a complete lack of self-esteem to the foothills of enormous success. Now stay with us and you could be earning 500,000 per annum, minimum. What are you guys up to? I can't explain. Not until you're in the proper mental condition to comprehend my vision and embrace it. When will that be? When you and your team do the absolute. One day with me and you'll find salvation. Salvation is the bottom line. I have the answer. Do you believe me? I don't know. I ache. I'm bruised. I'm so bloody tired. Don't fight me. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Concentrate. Feel my heartbeat. My heart is pumping blood, adrenaline and energy. Adrenaline and power. From my heart to your heart. Energy and power. Pain evaporates. Bruises heal. Strength. Blood. Power. Sure, I like it. That's because part of you still finds weakness attractive. I'll put an end to that. Hi, kids. Long time no see. Meet me at the brasserie, eight ish. Um, yeah, see ya. Nick, are you okay? Sure. Absolutely. I don't know. On a roller coaster. If they strap you in, you have to finish the ride, right? But it makes you a little edgy. Roller coasters, you see. Hey, what a fab coincidence! My God, the King of Kafka Gardens. Not for much longer. Mum and me have seen a super warehouse space over in Limehouse. 
Oh, I'm glad to see things are going so well for you, Mel. Sure, well, when Brian found out about the video, he raked me over the coals. I mean, practically, literally. But I toughed it out. And since then, I've recruited so many ex-loops from the cookie jar that my commissions are going through the roof. Evening. Hello. Anyway, I'm going to sit with Velma. She's got the odds for me. <laughs> Come and join the festivities. Line seems in a very festive mood. I've jumped them from down line to top line. See, Grace and me made platinum last week, and Dan's moving us into Pathway Central. The Coopers are really pissed off about it. You see, he wouldn't have them. Well, frankly, they are fucking dull. Didn't you know? The bugger loves to spring surprises. I guess he wanted to see the look on your face when we turned up at the Institute tomorrow. You're doing the absolute. Of course. Right up there with you, Nick. Excuse me. The absolute. Rudrun's new therapy. It's going to be intense. Didn't Duncan say something about an absolute? The lion want to buy you a bottle of champagne, Nick. For old Lang Syne. Look, not right now, Mel. <laughs> <laughs> we won't take no for an answer, old oh, buddy. Ciao. Music, maestro, please. Life is short. Now's the time. Look at us. How did Duncan know about We're moving out line. Don't say it, Victor. We spent long enough worrying about Nick targets. Now it's time for comedy. Left behind. Come with us. We're moving out Good morning. All ready for the big day. Step this way, please. Put the wafer on your tongue. But don't swallow yet. Hold them. Does this seem blasphemy? No, just a bit mystical. Brian? Oh, we don't mind. We're atheists. If Mama could see this, she'd kick my ass. Can't live for our parents, John Ford. Amen. Amen. Shh, don't break your concentration. Scott, the wine. Now have a sip of wine and swallow the wafers. Welcome to the Rudra. Let's sit. We're going to be in here rather a long time. I expect you're wondering about the outfit. Well, as a matter of as fact... As I told them, if Raymond wants us kitted out like this, there must be a good reason for it. We're going on an adventure together. We're going to climb a mountain. The mountain is metaphorical. But when the wafer takes hold of your mind, Mount Rudran will seem as real to you as Everest was to Hillary and Tenzing. What exactly was in that wafer? An extremely effective hallucinogen developed by Scott Dare. But me and Camille spent five years trying to stay off of drugs. Heroin destroys, Alex. My wafer saves. It's a tool for climbing the mountain. 
You've traveled up to Pathway Central, but that is only the beginning. The journey never ends. You can always be upline of where you are. Now, let us chant and prepare our minds for scaling the mountain. I recognize there are infinite treasures in the cosmic cornucopia of riches and abundance. I recognize there are infinite treasures in the cosmic cornucopia of riches and abundance. I now build my magic aura of importance and success. I now build my magic aura of importance and success. Raymond Ruderan will teach me to draw upon the unlimited resources of the universe for my own enrichment. Raymond Ruderan will teach me to draw upon the unlimited resources of the universe for my own enrichment. Raymond Ruderan is my father and my mother. 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 Cretino! Asino! Idiota! Vattene! Subito! Vai! Vai! Get out of the rudra! Subito! Mamma! What are you doing here? Looking after your immortal soul. I stayed quiet while you made your crappy films, but this man is the Antichrist! But he's offering me power, Mamma! The fight picture deal! Get out now! I will give you the black horn! Mamma! You must love me always! Never! Never again! Unless you get out of the Rudra, you are dead to me! <coughs> Howard, open the door. It's always the macho ones who crack first. <laughs> now I start up the mountain. Raymond Rudran will protect me. Raymond Rudran is my father and my mother. Now I start up the mountain. Raymond Rudran will protect me. Raymond Rudran is my father and my mother. The journey begins. You're cold and hungry. We've been climbing for hours and your packs are heavy. On the other side of the ravine is a tent. Warm, liquid, nourishment. Look down. Look at the ravine. I'll go first. You must have faith in me. Remember, Raymond Rudrun will protect me. Raymond Rudrun is my mother and my father. I order you to jump. Go, Camilla. Go, Alex. Go, Grace. Go, Brian. Go, Nick. Go, Sophie. I can't! Come on, Sophie, you can do it! Sophie, I'm ordering you to jump. I can't. I'm too tired and old and out of condition and tired and old. All right, Sophie, go down the mountain. Weak must always remain at the bottom of the mountain. Sophie will never understand the big picture. At this year's convention, right after your film, I'm going to offer up my pathway shares for sale. 
at 50 pounds a share, the float should raise five million. A rude one investment fund to start new businesses, all organized on the multi-level marketing principle pioneered by Pathway. And you, my inner sanctum, will be in charge of recruitment and promotion for these new companies. Look at it! Rudron Industrial Park. A city within a city. Come inside the tent. I think you all need to sit down. So that's why you said I'd be earning half a million a year? We will. Nick will. The rest of you will be under him. Therefore, your salaries will not be quite as lavish. I see. A year ago, our wildest dreams were playing Ronnie Scott's. Now we're part of a bloody business empire. So you understand what's at stake? And why, to protect the future of Rudron Industrial Park, violence may occasionally be necessary. And why I have been developing and testing your stamina and loyalty. Ruthless loyalty. Oh, we're loyal. We're ruthless. Are you? You're about to have an opportunity to prove it. I'm afraid there are only provisions for five. But there's six of us. Exactly. And outside, a blizzard is raging. We could be stuck here for days. Not enough food. And not enough oxygen. What are you saying? I believe you know what I'm saying. One of us has to be sacrificed. Correct. Naturally, it's not going to be me. Oh, of course not, Raymond. There is, however, one person who is perhaps more expendable than anyone else. Me? No, Raymond, it's a Josh, isn't it? No, Josh. Can you think of anything that justifies your existence? Quickly, Grace. Five, four, three, two, one. Nothing. Nothing. There's nothing to justify my existence. Well, what are you waiting for, Brian? Throw the bitch off the mountain. Oh, give me a hand, someone! Alex? Oh, oh, no, no, Brian! No! Oh. <laughs> Go, Nick. I'm ordering you to help Brian throw Grace off the mountain. Oh, you go. I'm your wife! You can't. You said you can't. You love me! I can. Rudron is my father and my mother. I love you! He's making love to my wife. Well, he can't make love to his own wife. He just threw her off the mountain. He was strong, Alex. That's why he's on the peak with Camilla. You were weak. Get a worm, Alex. <laughs> Climb down and go to sleep. No, Nick. You're not going to sleep yet. You let Alex go to sleep. Alex wasn't destined to be my minister of propaganda. You were. Minister of prop... Just a figure of speech. Swallow. You were destined to be part of my empire, but something's standing in the way. Swallow. I'm taking you to another level. Together, we can remove the impediment. Swallow. Swallow.
Is that the absolute is it over? Not quite. You have to commit a simple, primal act first. I'd rather go to sleep. I'll let Brian and Camilla direct promotions. I don't think I'm up to the demands of the job. You will be by the time we complete your therapy. Nick, you were meant to be by my side. You were sent to me as a positive force to balance your sister's negative energy. Who sent me exactly? The god, Shiva. Uh-huh. Shiva intends you to help me reshape Britain's political future. No more, Raymond, not today. On September 25th, Howard Caprice will announce more than a share flotation. He will announce that he is to be Tory candidate for West Spitalfields. I'm having synapse trouble. You will, of course, handle all his uh, PR film and video advertising, but this is only the start of our political future. Raymond, honestly, this is information overload. You will fulfill the same function for the dozens of other apotheosis graduates entering the political arena over the next decade, building the Rudran wing of the Tory party. I just joined Pathway to make a little extra bread for the act. I never wanted to be Joseph Goebbels. Don't be modest. You're a natural Goebbels, and you were destined to be a part of my ever-increasing circle of power. The political wing develops our business wing. Our business wing pours money into the coffers of our political wing. By the mid-90s, when North Sea oil runs out and all is chaos, I shall come out of the shadows and govern the country. Well, that's my long-term strategy. How does it strike you? Pretty sound? Is this still an hallucination? Does it feel like an hallucination? It feels real. Then, ergo, it is real. What are we doing here? As I said, there is an impediment to achieving your destiny. An anachronistic and rather destructive sentimental humanism. This is where it gets removed. eventually. Kill him. How can I kill my own dad? Because I say so. I, Raymond Rudron, born Neil Frisbee of Wimbledon, who discovered, after ten years dismal failure as an actor, that he was in fact the reincarnation of Rudra, the violent aspect of the god Shiva, placed in Britain in the latter part of the 20th century to eliminate the weak, to drive them to the wall, to make the race strong against the day the oil runs out. Nick! If you can't do a basic thing, like kill your own father, what the hell are you going to do when the oil runs out? Absolute is over. You've come through. You did it. Congratulations. The primal act. I didn't do it. You did it. But you and I are one. Don't you understand that? Spiritual twins. You're not my twin, Raymond. In fact, you scare the shit out of me. I'm your destiny, Nick. I have a little trouble with destiny as a concept. You can't escape it! It's what you think.
Ah, how do you feel? <sighs> feel great. Wasn't it just the ultimate experience? Extremely ultimate. I love the ice pick. Fabulous. Uh, just popping out for a breath fresh. Raymond says stop. This will be a personal pleasure. He knows an awful lot, Raymond. Say what? He's just a comic. Thanks. Thanks for not washing your hands off me. We rang Fizzy in Cornwall. She said we ought to be here when you finished the absolute. I knew she was right, which pissed me off. Because, quite frankly, I'd really had enough of your craziness. Yeah, I know, I know. The trip inside Rudrain's head. Still, I think I'm sort of straightened out. No more hallucinogenic wafers. Back to the alcoholic we know and love. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I should have guessed Rudrum was an ex-actor. Yeah. All that bouffant, what a giveaway, eh? But being an aspect of Seaver, well, that was a bit of a surprise. His real name's Neil Frisbee. <laughs> <laughs> Neil Frisbee. <laughs> From Wimbledon. <laughs> Neil Frisbee from Wimbledon, reincarnated as an Indian god. Oh, I love it. Oh, Christ, what a sketch this is going to make. Is she talking about the act? My sister has a very short empathy span. <laughs> Nothing can stop the pathway movement. Ow. 